so I feel like whenever I film it just happens to fall on leg day but today is leg day again and it's probably because I kind of struggle with getting mentally prepared and motivated for leg day it's like a huge workout for me and I really need to be in the proper mindset to get a really good leg workout I know it's always gonna be really long and really tough and I try and give it my all every single time but I definitely need to be prepared for a leg workout um, and I do think that filming gives me more motivation to really have good form and to think about what I'm doing um, so hopefully I can share some good tips with you guys today and I'm actually doing quads and glutes so as I've mentioned before I'm really working on my quad development trying to get leaner legs so I'm doing more high rep leg workouts which is tough too I would rather do less reps and higher weight but I'm finding my balance I'm probably gonna also add in some plyometrics today I haven't done that in a while and I really want to try and shred out these legs um, I think I have a photo shoot in about two weeks so I'm also trying to lean out for that possibly setting a show date soon hopefully um, so just trying to get leaner be my best and push myself every day and I'm more of a strict set program now so I have been doing hit um, I've been really quite tired after changing my workouts adding in hit and also if you guys didn't see from my Instagram my boyfriend was actually in the hospital for the past three weeks so I was staying there almost every night with him and my sleeping and diet patterns were all all messed up so I'm finally starting to get back on track with everything with life so um, it's it feels good to get back so hopefully my body will show that I do think I've been getting leaner I haven't weighed myself um, maybe I'll try and do a posing physique update for you guys in this video as well so please um, let me know if you guys want to see anything specific I know you guys have started to leave some comments and I really appreciate that so I hope you enjoy this video and like and subscribe please thank you also wanted to share a little bit about my supplements right now um, I have currently been taking EAA max energy I take half before my workout and half throughout during my workout um, so they're BCAAs but they have caffeine in them so kind of gets you going and keeps you going so I really like that um, but I do think I'm going to start to transition either do BCAAs without caffeine um, on the days that I don't need the extra caffeine and just take pre-workout so I have I'm supposed to be getting some new Primeval Lab supplements and I'm really excited to try those. Um, they have a new fat burner which is Harukin so I just, just told you guys before I'm really trying to lean out right now so I really want to try that. I'll let you guys know how it is and also they have a new pre-workout. Um, so before they were, I've been using Adrenal Rush and now they have um, it's called Untamed Ape Shit so I'm gonna try that one and get pumped. But I'll let you guys know when I get that probably in my next video and I'll share that all with you guys. But if you haven't tried this flavor yet, oh my god, pink lemonade. I drink way too much of it and then I'm bouncing off the walls. But it's it tastes so good. Literally it's pink lemonade and you have it in ice cold water in the summer and it's like the best drink ever. Yes, seriously. <laughs> okay, going to lift now. <laughs> As you can see here, I started with leg extensions. Um, I almost always start with this when I train quads and glutes in order to properly activate my quads before I do any other exercise. I think quads are really one of my weaknesses and I've tried so many different things to try and activate my quads. Um, but a few things that I really try and focus on and I think would be great tips for anyone who just starting or even otherwise um, I try and keep my big toe in line with my knee so it helps with the tracking of your patella which is the bone that is on your it's your kneecap um, so your quads you have four you have your outside vastus lateralis your inside vastus medialis um, your rectus femoris which actually crosses your hip joint and um, 
vastus medialis, which is the one in the, the middle. Um, so you want to try and work all the different muscles, especially for me doing women's physique. I want to really get the definition and the separation in my quadricep muscles. So I really play around. I'm doing some partial reps here. Um, and I keep my toes straight forward when I'm trying to target all of my quads. You can also go a little bit outwards to try and target your medial, so the inside quad. Um, and as you can see for this one, I said the rectus femoris crosses your hip joint. So I'm extending my hips here. So I'm really trying to target that upper quad muscle. So with these, I just like to go nice and slow, really think about pushing your hips forward and focusing on the specific muscle that you're targeting. So I said, I'm targeting that higher muscle, the quad that's towards your hip. So that's what I'm thinking about when I'm doing this. So this is a, another exercise that I really like to do for muscle activation for hip abductors. So those are the muscles on the outside of your legs. They abduct, which brings your legs apart. Um, these are important for stability, for any single legs balancing, um, and also to help activate just prior to squats or leg press or any other movement. Um, so here I did a little superset. Um, I did the band walks, and then I did a hip abduction out to the side. And I like to use my hand um, kind of on the muscle that I'm trying to activate just so that I can really help to work on my mind-muscle connection a little bit further and send signals from that muscle to my brain just by slightly placing my hand there or tapping it to help the muscle activate even further and recruit as many muscle fibers as possible. And here I'm supersetting it with a hip abduction. Um, so I like to lean forward a little bit on this exercise. Um, it does recruit the muscle better, I feel like I can get a little bit more activation in this specific position. Um, and I'm doing higher reps with this. I like to do 15 to 20, and then I like to do a hold at the end until basically failure. Next, I went into a leg press. Um, again, I'm doing higher reps. So I think I was about 15 to 20 with this. Only doing two plates, nothing too heavy. Um, and I also did a narrower stance um, to try and target more of my quads. So you're definitely going to get some glute as well as quads, um, but I'm doing a narrow stance with my feet closer towards me rather than higher up. High and wide is more for specific glute and ham, and then lower and closer together, you can hit more of your quad sweeps or lateral quad. I also did another view of this in the next clip just so you can see my foot placement. Um, and another thing that's really important with the leg press is to make sure that your lower back your, is not coming off because that will cause your lumbar spine to flex and can put increased pressure on your disc. So you want to make sure you're really squeezing through your core, pushing your belly button towards the back of the chair and taking full deep breaths out as you push the weight up. So this will help you to protect your spine as well as improve the amount of weight that you can push. And not fully hyperextending your legs at the top because that can damage your joints as well. And right here, um, I went into another squat variation to target my quads again. Um, narrow, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And I try and make sure I'm bringing my elbows all the way to my knees so that I'm getting the depth here. I like to do these with nothing too heavy, but really focusing again on the mind-muscle connection. And squeezing that core very tight, making sure you're protecting your spine. Add a little pulse at the end. I love pulses. I just really like to burn out the muscle. These have also become one of my new favorite leg exercises. Um, I do really like to do heavy squats with the barbell, but I have transitioned into doing a lot of squats like this just because it hits the muscle in a completely different way. So you can see I'm doing a little pulse at the bottom, 
and I'm doing a narrow stance here, narrower than shoulder width apart, and sometimes I'll also do it with my legs completely together. Really making sure you're pushing your back into the bar and driving your weight through your heels. I supersetted this with jump squats, which are always brutal for me, but I've been trying to add in plyometrics again, getting different muscle fibers. Um, there's type 1 and type 2 muscle fibers, which one is for quicker um, exercises and one is for slow. So you're going to recruit different muscle fibers and change the muscles that you're activating. Um, as you can see next, I did a lunge variation. So I like to switch it up with lunges as well. Um, sometimes I'll do walking lunges with barbell or dumbbells. I really like these split squat lunges just because, again, I can feel the difference. Um, I put the, the weight through different parts of my foot in order to activate different muscles. So I think that's a really important concept when training legs is where you are placing most of your weight. So if you're on more of your heels, you're going to hit more glutes. And then if you shift your weight forward, you can get more quad. And then there's also times when you may just want to distribute the weight equally throughout your foot in order to target your leg and really balance yourself. So I supersetted those lunges with these um, single leg squats with my back leg elevated. So I'm trying to distribute most of the weight just to my front foot and I'm holding one dumbbell in the same leg that I am putting my weight through in order to really distribute a little bit more weight through that leg. Um, I'm trying to go as low as possible without letting my knee go over my big toe. And then I go right into these single leg eccentric step downs. So as I described in previous videos, eccentric is the lowering phase and this single leg really helps to recruit the muscle fibers that are not typically recruited in a normal exercise. You really have to work on the stability and the control to slowly lower yourself and then pushing up with just the leg that's on the bench. So this works, your glutes, your quads, I think it's a really great exercise. And of course ending with my least favorite switch leg lunges. My legs are always dead after I do these. Um, no matter what point in my workout or what I've done, these really fatigue me. So I save them till the end. I just kind of rep it out and then again with my pulses to really hit the muscle until fatigue and failure. And finally, I just wanted to do a little physique update for you guys, show you where I'm at. Um, I haven't really been weighing myself, so I'm not sure what my weight is right now. But I do feel leaner. I think I've progressively been losing one to two pounds a week for about the past month, month and a half. Um, I've been working on my posing a little bit. I have taken some progress pictures. I haven't really posted any on social media yet. But I've definitely tried to incorporate some into my YouTube videos. Um, here I'm just going through the main poses and then I'm going to do my women's physique poses. I try and practice these as much as I can in between sets. Um, the camera's a little blurry here, sorry about that. Um, but I like to always practice them no matter what size or how lean or bulky I may be. Um, I think that just the actual um, poses, hitting the poses, really brings that mind muscle connection and lets you feel what it's like and when you're on stage it's completely different and you start shaking and no matter how much you practice it's always really tough once you get on stage so you want to have those drilled into you um, so I try and practice these as much as I possibly can and I also really really enjoy them I love posing it's one of my favorite things especially about women's physique so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was informative please let me know if you would like to see more specific things and once again thank you for subscribing